Hi everyone, it's Sandy Carter, and today I wanted to share with you a page that I made. It's a pretty quick one, so I just wanted to show you it's a very simple layout. Um, I used some of the papers that my friend Jeanette sent me, um, and I thought they'd be perfect to display the photos that we took um, when we went to Snoqualmie Falls. Uh, there's this beautiful waterfall in Washington. It's called Snoqualmie Falls, and it's super awesome because you can do the viewpoint at the top, or, and you can also hike down to the bottom and kind of see the river below. Um, so I wanted to make this page very simple because I love the photos and I didn't want to do too complicated of a page because then I feel like it would really take away from the beauty of the falls. And here's a picture of my husband and my little guy, Julian. And um, they're just looking over the falls there and I love taking those kind of pictures because, you know, every time that we go places, we always do just the basic um, smile at the camera, you know. I like the ones where it look, shows action of them doing something. So, I mean, it's not really action, but they are doing something. Um, but here I am trying to kind of figure out whether I wanted to put a frame or not around the actual falls. Um, and then I have some outdoor themed stickers from October afternoon. They're super old, but they had outdoor theme on it, so I liked it. Um, and I have a bunch of really, really pretty little embellishments that I got from my haul recently. And I was trying to work some of them in, but it really wasn't quite fitting what I wanted it to have to do on here. Um, I wanted it to be, you know, simple and clean cut, pretty lines. So um, this paper that I used on this page is actually a couple different sets. There is a set from We Are Memory Keepers, and it's called Free Spirit. That's some of the papers that Jeanette sent me. And then the bamboo looking paper is actually from Webster Pages. Um, it's the Dreaming Color, I believe it is. But that is such a pretty piece of paper. I wanted to use it really bad on another layout, but it just didn't quite work out. So here I am spelling out Snoqualmie. And if you're from Washington, you'll know that we have a crazy, crazy names because we are full of native tribes and everybody has very unique names. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I'm I'm Alaskan native, so I'm used to seeing weird names, but until I moved here, I didn't realize there were so many different names that I didn't even recognize. So, Snoqualmie Falls, and then I actually, I had a, a sticker pack from Heidi Swap I got on clearance recently, and they were gold stickers, and they had this really pretty little, like, um, just like a line of gold stars, so I decided to use that one on this page. You'll see me put it down in a second. Um, let's see here, and then the, I believe I left the hello, no I didn't leave the hello, I wanted to use one of the Heidi Swap rub-ons, these are really great to use, and I like to use them mostly on paper, on, um, sorry, on pictures, because I feel like they stick better, when I use them on paper, they have a rough time coming off, so, here I am working with all my layers, I love using minimal paper. I don't like to waste paper because I feel like I can use it for something else. It's not like I really need to save it because <laughs> I have enough to last me like 20 lifetimes. But I do like to um, do things like stitching on my paper, um, adding interest to the paper. This is definitely an easy way to do it. This is a little Singer sewing machine that I got from Joann's. It was like $14 after my coupon. Um, but it puts such a pretty accent on the page. I put the gold around that layer and then I put another layer of gold on the cross paper there. And it just looks so cute. On the final page it just kind of like brings it all together to make it look more uniform and um, just, it's just so clean. It kind of reminds me of quilting in a way, but just for your information, if you do get that little sewing machine, don't be upset if you notice that the sewing on it it's very pretty on the front, but on the back it's just like a big hot mess, so don't worry about that. Um, it still works just fine for scrapbooking, so if you guys want a little sewing machine, that is a great way to do it. And here I am. I'm trying to find a glitter that I would want to use on that. I decided to go with a white glitter just because I wanted to, it to stay light. Um, and I kind of wanted it to, um, when I do the layering of the, the words, I didn't want it to be all gold and then just the black falls, so... Here I am, every once in a while I like to turn my little matting down so I can try to get it to look a little different, but it didn't work in this situation, so. 
just keeping it the way I started as. And here we go with those gold stars. I just thought that was a cute little accent. I love these stickers, by the way. I got those from Michaels, I believe. And the long, skinny words are so much better for when you guys are trying to make big titles. So, but I like the variation in um, with the title, so you could see like the different size um, words and everything. So, I was trying to see if I can just cut that paper, but I changed my mind. <laughs> I didn't want to cut that. I wanted to keep it on that bluish colored background, so I actually found this really cool, the arrows, and it turned out perfect. I love how the arrows look. And I trim my page, I trim it about a half an inch on each side, just two sides, um, and that way I can have that nice quarter inch all the way around it. So I love how this one turned out. It was just so simple, super quick, I made this page in probably like, I'm going to say 30 minutes or so. So if you guys want to make a quick page, keep it simple. Don't go too crazy. <laughs> I am just taking a little bit of a, the dark brown because I kind of wanted more of a contrast for mounting. Um, so I just took it and I just roughed it up with my fingernails, made it look all rustic and grunged up. But it's funny because it, since I did the stitching on that, it actually made it look like it was a... Uh, like it was sewn on there, but it really wasn't. But here's the final page. I hope you guys liked it. Um, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram at Carter Sands, C-A-R-T-E-R-S-A-N-Z. And I just set up my Twitter account at Carter Sands. So if you have any you know, questions or want to talk to me about anything, go ahead and hit me up on Twitter. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day, and thanks for joining me. Bye.